Hi there, I hope that you've been doing well. Uh, today I thought I would unbox my oat box, box, I guess. Uh, oat box is a granola subscription service that is at in Montreal, um, or like the companies in Montreal, and they ship through Canada and the United States. And every month you get um, two different types of granola. So I've been really enjoying this subscription. I've had it for, gosh, almost two years now. I do have to say I wish that there was an option where you could get it every three months or every four months. Uh, currently there's only an every month option or every two month option. And since I've had this subscription for so long, I do have kind of like a drawer full of oat boxes at this point. So I'm, I might have to cancel for like a couple months, but I really don't want to because I love getting the boxes. So I have been kind of giving people granola from time to time. So anyway, um, I thought we would unbox this one. I believe this is actually last month's oat box, February's oat box. It's been on my counter for a little while, but I've been busy. But now that I'm basically stuck at home by myself because of the whole coronavirus situation, uh, now I have time, so I thought I would unbox it with you. I'm sorry for the weird angle. There wasn't really a good one I could think of. So anyway, here is the box that it comes in. It has um, oats all over the outside of it. It's been the same for the last two years. I really like it. And so let's see what I got this month. So they always include these little recipe cards um, and they're always really nice photos. Um, I won't read the cards yet because usually they give away what um, the granola is for the month, but I wish I... Like, sometimes I keep these, but they just get a little bit too in the way. Like, I don't, I'm not someone who would collect recipe cards. This seems like a very old-fashioned thing to do. Ooh, okay, so I see the first one. And the first one is salted caramel. That's super exciting. I love salted caramel. Um, that sounds like it's going to be so delicious in a granola. I'll open it in a second. And then the other one I've got here... is quadruple chocolate so these do not sound like the healthiest ones these months but i love the flavors so i have opened them up obviously not i'm not the best at opening things uh so this one the first one is salted caramel um i can't really smell the salted caramel right away it seems like it's like in a more of a loose uh cluster so this is what it looks like so it does seem like it's in a loose kind of flaky cluster. I see what I believe are almonds. Let me read the ingredients. So the ingredients are always really great. And actually the majority of them tend to be organic as well, which I love. And as well, I believe a lot of them are locally sourced as well. So in this one, there are rolled oats, almonds. Yeah, so I did see almonds. Rye flakes, brown sugar, quick oats, tapioca syrup, sunflower oil, vanilla extract, sugar, and sea salt. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really have, well I guess the, the caramel is, it has salt and it has, like I guess the caramel is made out of the sugar. So there is salty caramel in there. And I do love that almonds is the second ingredient. So I'm sure this will be very good and high protein um, as well for people who are looking for that. Next up I have the quadruple chocolate and you can see almost immediately that there is a lot of chocolate chips in there. So there seems to be white chocolate chips and dark chocolate chips. I was looking at the ingredients to find out what's the quadruple chocolate and it is uh, white chocolate, dark chocolate, cocoa nibs, and cocoa powder. So there is actually four different types of chocolate in the, in the granola and it is like of a darker color than the other granola. Let me show you the other one in the bag as well. So this is what it looks like in the bag. So as you can see, this is a lighter color and more like flaky. And it has a lot of almonds. And then this one is a darker color because of that cocoa powder. As well, the um, granola is like uh, stuck together more. So yeah. And you can smell the chocolate. It actually reminds me of like chocolate cereal that you would smell as a child. So yeah, this is probably not the healthiest one. I've definitely had ones that were a bit more healthy, 
but I don't mind. I'm sure I'm gonna like this is the type of granola I would keep at work and just snack on dry at work. Now I thought I would finally look at the recipe cards. And the first one is chocolate chip cookies, and I believe you mix the granola into the chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what you do. Um, so it's like a chocolate chip cookie with granola in it. And actually, I was going to show you guys that I made granola cookies earlier today. Here they are. And I made these using a blueberry granola that I got in a previous box. So whenever you do make um, granola cookies using the oat box granola, make sure that you soak the oats in the wet ingredients for about 15 minutes or even longer, like up to half an hour. Um, and then the granola softens a little bit in the cookies so it's not so hard, unless that's what you're looking for. Uh, they have had breakfast uh, bar recipes before where I think the granola was supposed to be a bit more like, um, like a granola bar crunchy. But um, for making like oatmeal cookies, I like it better when it's a little bit softer. So I recommend letting the oats sit in the wet ingredients in the fridge or out on the counter for like 15 minutes to half an hour. And I'm actually super happy with how these um, cookies turned out. Um, I also substituted one third of the flour with protein powder. So they're a little bit more of a breakfast cookie. And I had some this morning with some strawberries. So. I find I do actually use these recipes sometimes. So that's the first one. It is chocolate chip cookies. And look at this beautiful. They always have very beautiful photos. And then the other recipe. So they always have one for each granola. And this one is French toast. Baked French toast. And actually the granola isn't in the recipe. They recommend serving it with yogurt and granola on the side. So yeah so that is i guess it for my oat box this month um let me know if you are interested in oat box i'll link it below um i really do like this company i love supporting this company they seem like such good people who you know just want to share these awesome ingredients um and these awesome canadian ingredients uh with everybody uh like i said they do ship to the united states um and yeah, they've just been really awesome and consistent for the last two years. So I really recommend them. Uh, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Bye.